Hydrate or dehydrate? I choose to dehydrate. Maybe when they're old? <laughs> water in your mouth challenge where we put water in our mouths and try not to laugh yes and we will do it in what three rounds three rounds with two minutes per round so one of us will have water in our mouth and the other one will try to make them laugh and yeah i mean well, this isn't revolutionary happens. you've seen this before it's pretty <laughs> straightforward yes yep okay great all right we should probably get water you're right <laughs> we don't have any water <laughs> Uh, yeah, we should maybe go get that. We should. All right, we'll be right back. Okay. We're, We're back! back. <laughs> we got some water. And the table is moved. Yes, so. And, well, you can't see it. There's a tarp underneath us. Good sturdy dollar store tarp. So sturdy. Okay. So big. <laughs> yep. We're ready to go. Okay, so we're doing three rounds. First <laughs> round is... Just like jokes, puns, jokes, dad yeah, jokes, dad jokes, that kind of sure. stuff. Second round is personal, personal stories or whatever you feel like sharing. Right. And then third round, we will both have water in our mm -hmm. mouths, and it will only be physical contact. Contact. I don't know if there's a like <laughs> not weird way to say. We'll that. have non-verbal ways to make each other laugh. It's also the final round. Okay. Third round, final round. Not right. yet. Great. Good, great. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, who is going first? I think I'll put water in my mouth first. Okay. And you tell jokes first. I wrote them down. Let me put my phone out of the splash zone. Okay. You're not in the splash zone. You're drinking the water. But my lap is the splash zone. Oh, okay. Okay. Three, two, one, begin. Okay. How do you make a Kleenex, Kleenex dance? <laughs> I didn't even get to finish. How do you make a Kleenex dance? You put a little boogie in it. <laughs> There's too much water in my mouth. We're off to a great start. <coughs> Does that mean I won? Like, I don't know. No, you still have one. You still have one minute thirty-four. So you're gonna put water back in your. Do you mouth. want to reset and try again? <coughs> do you want to box for your leftovers? No, but I'll wrestle you for them. Still in there. <laughs> Just swishing around. <laughs> look, look. <laughs> you just keep like sad falling. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
direction on that one. If well, I'm being honest, I don't know how to do a spit take. <laughs> like, trying our best to do a spit take. <laughs> like, it really feels so unnatural. Yeah. Like, it really, because it's like, I've never done one. When it's like you have water in your mouth, you're like, when, okay, when someone makes me laugh while drinking water, I just swallow my water. Yeah. I don't spit it out at them. Also, I always, like, feel bad. Yeah. Yeah. But part of me wanted to be like, do it. <laughs> so, but it's like, there's also so much water. So when I do it's let like it out, out. It, just, like, it just comes out in a bucket. Yeah, so maybe we should do, like, a little less. I don't know. I tried that time. Okay. Was that two minutes <clears throat> yet? Ten seconds. Oh, my gosh. Okay. No, I'm not prepared. Ooh. Hold on. Let me find a good... Joke to tell you. Ah. Son to his dad. Dad, can you put on my shoes? I can try, but I don't think they'll fit. <laughs> I believe in you, Beth. Two minutes. Do it. Ah, uh, here we go. <clears throat> I'm sorry. This was horrible. This was. A lot harder. It's gonna be real soggy. Oh, hear that squish. Bad ASMR. Bring it that. Never criticize someone unless you've walked a mile in their shoes. That way, when you criticize them, they won't be able to hear you because you're far away. Plus, you'll have their shoes. <laughs> okay. Um, what do you call a cheese that's not yours? Nacho cheese. <laughs> Come on, let it out. You know you want to. <laughs> That's so difficult. It's hard to spit take. Yeah, also I like don't want to spit on you. I'm yes. so conscious of that. Yes, me too. Okay. What do you call an elephant that doesn't matter? Irrelevant. <laughs> You're going to Florence pretty soon. What do you call a fake noodle? An impasta. <laughs> okay. The, okay. The world tongue twister champion just got arrested. I heard they gave him a pretty tough sentence. <laughs> I do. Um, if I got 50 cents every time I filled math class, I have $6.30 right now. I can't tell if like, you've only failed once and you're bad at math or you've failed math that many times. Well, I've never failed math, so. There you go. There you go. Oh, oh. It's just, oof, oof. It's just a soggy boy, guys. It's a soggy boy. <laughs> We've gotten rid of the table entirely. So round two, higher stakes. Our only option is to spit on the other person. Yep, our lap or their lap or their face. face. <laughs> yes, okay, so now we are doing personal stories or just improv, if you will. <gasps> improv? <laughs> Who is she? Okay, so this is a fun 
fun little uh, middle school story. Uh, when I was in middle school, I was a scrawny little kid, and my friends liked to slingshot me <laughs> on the sidewalk. So they would just grab both my arms and whip me back <laughs> and let me go. <laughs> story so I was teaching nature to the little kiddos and I just dislocated my knee <laughs> in front of all of them and I just had to keep going and so I asked my co-counselor to go see if we had any ice for ice cream to you know be discreet and he came back and said yes but we're out of milk and I said no I want ice to ice my knee and he said okay actually he said 10-4 that was his little catchphrase 10-4 mm -hmm. And he came back and said, we don't have glove, we don't have bags, but we have this glove. And he gave me a glove full of ice to put on my knee. And that's it. Good. I also dislocated my knee when I turned around too fast to get a chicken biscuit. <laughs> there it is. And I had to have surgery. <laughs> okay, this is another camp story. Uh, one time I heard from a counselor that one of his campers, a child, not, not that old, uh, had told him uh, that he needed to get himself a thick white girl like Katie Hodge. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't know how to take that. <laughs> so, I guess it's a compliment, but I think he was eight, so. <laughs> okay, so my dad grew up in... Tucson, Arizona, and he and his friends would do a lot of crazy things. One of the things they did was they liked to go fishing. So they make stink bait. So they got this jar and they put rotten like eggs and like rotten stuff in it, and then they decided to bake it. So they put it on top of this friend's doghouse, and they left it there for months. And then it was so rotten, they decided, what should we do with this? And so they picked up rocks and <laughs> threw them at the jar. <laughs> got everywhere and everyone was so mad at them. <laughs> Just Arizona things. When I was younger we used to live in Spain and so we had a lot of family members come visit us because that's cool that they had family in Spain. And so my aunt was coming to visit us so it was my aunt in the car with her, one of her daughters, my brother and my sister who were all under the age of like six. And they were driving around and following us in the car, my mom in the car, and my mom lost them and they were gone. They were missing in Madrid. This is before cell phones. This is before Google Maps. This is before everything. And so they didn't know, my sister didn't remember our address. And so my aunt literally drove to a McDonald's <laughs> and asked them if anyone spoke English. And they finally got the phone and they figured out how to call the U.S. Embassy. And then through the U.S. Embassy, they figured out how to call my aunt's mother in Arizona. <laughs> and then my grandma called my mom and <laughs> said, Karen is at the McDonald's by the mall you usually shop at. <laughs> about the sex lives of presidents. <laughs> so I'm, one of the presidents I'm talking about is President Warren G. Harding, <laughs> who's, um, I would say, like, sexting before sexting was a thing in her letters. <laughs> Can you give an example? I can, once you put more water in your mouth. <laughs> so he called his boy part Jerry. <laughs> Conversations with Jerry. Are we still time? With Jerry? Like him to Jerry? Yeah. Put that water. Put it with your mouth, mouth right. <laughs> so, or President Warren G. Harding would have conversations with Jerry. <laughs>
water in our mouth. Yes. And we're going to try and make it to the left. Without speaking. Without speaking. Um, yes. Bottoms up! <laughs> Taser you in the like the back where they go like beep and like it's like a tickle from the behind. Uh -huh. um, someone did that to me at the beginning of a sleepover, um, and I reared back and knocked out part of the front tooth. <laughs> I don't know. I forgot about it until just now. She just suppressed that deep down I in feel, there. It was the beginning of the sleepover, so we continued to have the sleepover. Oh, but it was like a group sleepover, so she was yeah. like kind of crying. Oh, I felt so bad. Oh, yikes. Yeah. <laughs>